Well, good morning, St. Andrew's friends and anybody else who happens to be visiting us with us this morning, um, this week in our All the Fine Young Ministers uh, series. Visiting with us is Morgan Bell, uh, and it's a treat to have him here. Morgan, I'm just wondering if you could uh, tell us just a little bit about yourself, where you uh, are currently serving, um, and uh, just yeah, introduce yourself. Wonderful. Thanks so much. And thanks to the congregation for having me and for Reverend Diane's gracious invitation. Um, so as you said, my name's Morgan Bell. I just finished my Master of Divinity at Emanuel College. Uh, I grew up about a half hour west of Peterborough on a farm outside a little village called Omimi. Um, where I'm currently serving, I'm, I'm between calls, I suppose you could say. I just finished up three years of youth ministry at Eglinton St. George's United here in Toronto. Um, and I begin my PhD this fall in systematic theology at the Toronto School of Theology. So I'm a little bit in between at the moment, but uh, I suppose for this precious hour, this is my call <laughs> for right Excellent. now. Oh, that's great. Well, thanks. Um, thanks for being willing to uh, to share with us a little bit um, this morning. That's great. Um, can you tell us your your go to relaxation activity? What do you like to do for fun? Uh, what do I like to do for fun? Um, I love to watch mindless movies and television. Um, part of, uh, part of uh, ministry, part of being a student is you have to use your mind all the time. So it's kind of nice to be able to unplug a little bit. Uh, we have a fairly nice backyard here at my rental house in Toronto. So roommates and I will go out to the back and uh, barbecue, have dinner, have drinks and that sort of thing. So that's a, a really wonderful way to unwind as well. Is there anything that you're binging right now on uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Crave, whatever? Oh, what am I binging right now? Um, I'm in a bit more of a movie phase. I seem to flip back and forth between uh, binging on shows, but I, I'm trying to think what my last binge was. I binged The Crown when it came out, and I did a re-binge on House of Cards. I don't know if uh, Ooh, anyone yes. followed that when it came out. Um, and my go-to is always The Office. Excellent. Okay. Um, and just the, the last uh, little question for you here. We have been in, in strange times. Um, this whole period of pandemic and understanding uh, COVID and lockdown has been kind of wild. Um, what's been something positive uh, or is there a lesson that you have learned through this uh, time of COVID? Um. I mean, this sort of thing wouldn't really have been possible before would it? Uh, where I could be sitting in Toronto and thinking about how to minister to people across the province. Um, I think there's been a greater form of connectivity across the church, and that's been more of a needs must. Um, this is stuff that we could have done before, uh, but now we've been placed into a position where this might not be the best way to connect. Uh, it would be great to be in person, but those kinds of connections that have come out, even in this um, kind of weird time where we've been forced to work with one another this way, um, in this manner, not forced to work together. Period. Sure, yeah. But that's been uh, really interesting for me that I've been able to log on, watch a worship service on Vancouver Island, um, and then talk to ministers and like Episcopal priests, let's say, in the United States about what's working well in their context, hmm. um, what they're learning. I don't know that that would have been possible on the scale before, um, but God will use what God has at, uh, at uh, the Almighty's disposal and make of it what God will. So. For sure. Yeah, those are, those, are, those are great insights. And I think that we've been finding the same thing at St. Andrews as we've reached out and tried to connect with other churches and other ministers and priests and, uh, and clergy people, as well as just other congregations and other Christians. So um, we're so grateful that we are, we do have a chance to connect with you in this way. And uh, I look very much forward to hearing what God would have you speak to us um, uh, through, through your sermon today. And um, all the best with your next phase of study and ministry and, uh, and God bless.